What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Nusantara project official version 2.8 and you can check out the name from here which says Rongulawe or something I'm not really sure what does that mean and here we have Android 11 version of course and there are two separate builds for this Nusantara project and that is one includes the gapps and one does not and here of course I have flashed the included gapps version and if you want to flash this ROM there is a card right there on the top right corner and here we have the build date that is 18th April 2021 build and you can check out the support group or the XDA thread. I will list all of the links in the description box below. And this again is a MIUI vendor based ROM, not a OSS vendor based ROM, if you are worried about that. Now, let me show you a very cool thing that if you go into the settings panel over here, it shows this kind of settings over here. I'll slow it down so that you guys can see how it looks. And this is how the settings panel looks like. Yes, you can change the style of it if you want to. And as you are noticing, it looks very, very beautiful over here. And we have the search panel then on the bold font we have the settings logo up there and here is how the about section looks like and Android 11 here it shows if you go into the Android version as you are noticing it shows faster yes you bad and stuff and we have the Android version as Android 11 of course as you are noticing let me go back from here we have the Nusantara OS logo up here and R11 version or the Android 11 version I guess. The security patch is latest of April 5th 2021 and the stock kernel here is the Perf G kernel and then the SLinux status you can see it is enforcing. Then we have this Nusantara project version and stuff the version is 2.8 you can again see the code name of the build and official build again and the maintainer's name over here says Wadi Habib. Let me go back and here is how again the settings panel looks like but before that let me show you the stock launcher. This is the Nusantara launcher as you are noticing present by default and we have the screenshot taking option key lap option and the clear all option in the recent panel in the misc settings we have the hidden and protected apps now if you go into it let me actually show you okay so from here you can lock particular apps but this is just for the launcher and here we have the app drawer and stuff and suggestions you can disable you can change the background opacity then in the home screen we have the double tap to sleep or like you can set it to screen off or you can set it to anything else like volume panel or something i don't know why would you set that but yeah these options are there we have the show google app then allow two line on desktop and stuff at a glance is there in the icons we have the notification dots the icon pack changing option if you have some icon pack like installed and you can increase the size of the icons over here in the home screen i guess so yeah you can change all of these and this is how the home screen looks like this is how the wallpaper looks like this is the default wallpaper it says from nusantara for everyone and the widgets and stuff in the home screen are working fine and to the left of the home screen we do get the google's discover page it is loading right now okay so it has been loaded and yeah google's discover page is working fine swiping up gets you to the app drawer swiping down actually gets you to the notification panel this is not the way that it looks in default mode this is what i have changed it you can change it i'll show you later on but let me show you the quick settings panel right now so you can edit and add multiple toggles like the screen record and stuff caffeine mode is there reading mode is there then we have live caption and stuff these are the app kind of quick toggles i have added couple of toggles but let me show you here if i enable the fps info it does not show me the fps info for some reason i have no idea why then we have the screen recording option this is the android 11 screen recorder and you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time so that is great with the screen recorder we also have this reboot toggle if you want to use that the long screenshot night light etc toggles are there of course dc dimming feature is there and the dark theme is also there now let's talk about the stock camera well i'm kind of disappointed again about the stock camera because as you are noticing this is the snapdragon camera kind of camera and i do not actually like this camera a lot and yes you can switch to the front camera and stuff like this but yeah i am not really sure how do i feel about this stock camera yes i would prefer google camera go over this stock camera here in my personal opinion but yes this is the camera that you get which is the snapdragon camera present by default and if you want to install a nix camera or something you can get the card right there right now let me jump into the settings panel and here is how it looks like and let me go into the nusantara wings here we get all the customizations first we have the themes so here we have the nusantara wings background i am not really sure where it changes but yeah there is the ios transparent random and stuff let me show you other things like the Nusantara category style is there 
then we have the system theme you can change it to light google dark or pitch black and stuff rgb accent picker is there so you can pick any kind of accent color from here there are a lot of presets too over here and then we have the font type you can choose from these many options of the fonts and we have the quick setting header style you can change it and then if you scroll down we have the switch style this is the toggles in the settings let me scroll down more we have the icon shapes changing option plethora of icon shapes are there and even status bar icon set changing option is there and this is the what i have changed for the quick setting toggles and from here you can set it to android mascot and that is where it looks like this so i'm not really sure if you will like it or not but yes there are plethora of quick setting toggles that i have never seen let me show you some more so as you are noticing these are the quick setting toggles that you can get plethora of good looking quick setting toggle styles are there let me scroll down we have this brightness slider style you can change it between these many options but yes they do like change if you change these kind of types over here then we have the panel background and i'm not really sure again which background is this then we have the status bar height changing option and here we have the rounded corners so if you are noticing these rounded corners is applied because of this large in the rounded corner settings and that is why you will see this rounded kind of edges over here so yeah and in the settings we have this interface changing option i have been using it with the themes a or you can go with the themes default if you want to there are only these two different like interfaces and in the notifications we have the heads up disabling option edge lighting option dialer heads up is there vibrate for notification is there show notification count is there notification for headers and center notification headers both are there in the misc settings we have the gaming mode then the extended idle and if you scroll down we have the screen of animation you can change it to crt or scale or the default one then we have the double tap to sleep on the lock screen and the status bar and so i would screenshot and from here you can change to long screenshot let me show you here is how it works and if you take a screenshot it shows this long screenshot icon over here which is not showing i'm not really sure why maybe because i have just applied the white theme but yes it does work let me show you here maybe it will show okay so right now as we are noticing it is shown let me go to some other tab over here if i take a screenshot okay so it still shows those kind of icons but it is showing only the text here because all of them are in white I think if I restart the device it will be fixed basically the long screenshot and stuff everything is working here you should not worry about that now jumping into the lock screen settings here we have the lock screen items and from here we have the lock screen charging animation you can change it to flash battery drop etc then we have the lock screen charging info then we have the status bar on lock screen enabling or disabling option media artwork is there then the media art blur is there let me go back to the fingerprint options here we have the fingerprint authentication vibration surprisingly we do have the force fingerprint authentication here now that means you can reboot the device and you don't have to enter your pin you can just use your fingerprint scanner to unlock the device so that is amazing feature and i do use it on a daily basis so i love this feature fingerprint icons are there and these many icons that you will get for the fingerprint scanner and here we have the recognizing animations too so these many animations that you get over here for the fingerprint scanner unlocking let me go into the status bar settings there are plethora of options here now inside battery style we have these many icons over here and we have the percentage next to the icon or inside the icon quick setting battery percentage battery location battery percentage estimate and stuff is there battery bar is also there if you have someone who uses that carrier label options are there then we have the clock options this is for the status bar clock again and you can enable am pm style if you want to and you can increase the font size on the status bar as you are noticing let me go back to the icon manager we have the tuner for the status bar headset bluetooth etc options are there nusantara logo is there if you want to enable that then 4g icon instead of lte is there and volte icons and stuff should be working fine but i do not have a sim card in the device and in the quick settings panel we have the quick pull down option if you want to enable that oxygen is kind of clear all button is there if you want to enable that let me show you as you are noticing oxygen is kind of clear all button is working and here we have the quick setting tint you can set it to disco or something if you want that and we have the other things like data usage and all other options if you are noticing the titles you can disable for the quick setting panel then column and row number customization then if you scroll down we have this brightness control feature if you enable that that simply means you can swipe on the status bar to adjust the brightness as you are noticing so this again a very handy feature for me and i do use it and this brightness control gesture on the status bar is working fine but for that you have to go into the status bar then the quick settings option now traffic indicators are also there if you want to enable that 
and inside hardware we have the button settings here we have the screen of power button toggle torch long press to toggle torch is there or the double press to toggle torch is also there then we have the kill app button and we have the volume panel style you can change it to AOSP compact audio or tiled and the default one looks like this so yeah very cool kind of volume panel that you get and you can expand it just like this so yeah volume panel on the left side is also there and the volume dialog timeout you can adjust and inside navigations we have the on-screen navigation bar then the pulse option then system navigations options are there here let me go into the settings and you will find amazing amount of customizations just for this build bar let me explain here we have the gesture bar length the gesture bar radius customization also you can set the margin from the bottom right now if you are noticing it is too much to the bottom over here but if i like do this to the like height and as you are noticing it has become a little bit upwards from the bottom so yeah this is a very handy feature and you can customize it however you like i mean i'm talking about the pill bar over here and the haptic feedback is there then the back arrow animation you can disable i guess and two button and three button navigations are also there if you are into that then we have arrow keys then the extended swipe action you can set custom actions for that let me go into the power menu we of course have the advanced reboot so let me show you the power menu this is how it looks like we have the google smart home kind of controls you can enable any kind of your smart lights in your home and we have the advanced reboot so if i tap advanced there is the directly rebooting option to recovery or fast boot from here right now let's jump into the battery settings this is how it looks like you can see the full battery usage from here and we have the thermal profiles so you can set per app kind of thing from here and we have the battery saver adaptive battery battery charging light then if you scroll down we have the battery temperature over here then the screen on time last full charge etc option is there by the way the 33 watt or the 18 watt fast charging both are working fine here let me scroll down we have the display settings here we have the lock screen option then we have the always show time and info this is for the always on display we have the brightness level dark theme etc night light you can set it and inside styles and wallpapers again we have these kind of wallpaper this is the default wallpaper that you get nothing much in the clock options you will get plethora of clocks as you are noticing this is how it looks like and we have this fluid id etc options inside grid we have up to 5 by 5 option let me go back we have the live display so you can calibrate the display like you can set the rgb of the screen we have the rotation settings and then we have the colors are adaptive by default Double tap to wake is there then the prevent accidental wake up option is there this is the pocket detection and we also have the anti flicker or the DC dimming mode so that is cool. Let me go back we have the sound settings and here we have the vibrate for calls, live caption etc then if you scroll down we have the touch vibration, the screenshot sound disabling option and stuff then we also have the me audio direct so from here you can change it to any kind of like options over here I use it with the youth edition and sounds good with that. And the sound quality via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is amazing over here. And we have the sound preset and you can set it to the hi-fi audio options too if you need that. Let me scroll down to the security here. We have the fingerprint scanner option, the face unlock option and the app locker. So first let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed. I'll just double tap over here to make the phone sleep. And from the lock screen let me try from the always on display. And as you are noticing it has unlocked. Let me try again with my left hand thumb. And again, as you can see, it has unlocked now from the always on display. It is unlocked again, again from the always on display with my left hand thumb. As you can see, it unlocks super fine. So no issues with the fingerprint scanner over here. Right now it's time I am setting up my face unlock setup over here. So right now let's try the face unlock and here I'll just double tap on the always on display. So here you have to swipe up, I guess, and the phone screen becomes white. So that is good. Let me swipe up and as you can see this is the face unlocking speed let me show you again. So yeah the face unlock is working flawlessly no issues so far. So this is how the app locker interface looks like you can lock any particular app from here and this is system wide lock this is not just for the launcher. From the security you will get this app lock and you can just click on this lock icon to lock any particular app and you can hide their notification from here. Okay, so I missed that and you can search for that app whatever you want to lock and this is how it works. You can hide the notification like this. There is also this authenticate only once option so that is cool. Let me show you. If I right now open this lock tab you can use the face unlock over here or use your pin or you can use the fingerprint scanner. So this is how it works 
and the app lock is actually working fine here no issue so far and as you can see in the recent panel it shows this white kind of screen if you have the notification turned off i guess inside system this is how it looks like we do not get any system updater so that could be a bummer for some but yes you can definitely manually update your rom if you want to and if you want to manually update there is a card for you right there in the gestures we have the power menu and stuff quickly open camera etc is there then in the front camera settings we have this front camera sound effects if you want that and the camera led you can disable and the default keyboard here is gboard because i have flashed the g apps included version over here and the safety net also passes right out of the box here so you should not worry about the banking apps over here on this rom right out of the box at least also you can get google assistant just by sliding a finger on these corners and as you are noticing it is working fine and also with hey google as you are noticing it is working fine so google assistant with voice trigger is working flawlessly well and if you want to know about the performance of this rom well i would say in terms of daily driving the experience has been super fun but i would say i have seen some black screens over here maybe it happened due to the setup or something i'm not really sure but it may show you some black screens like very rarely if you're using the rom heavily and here is what i have faced and i had to press the power button for a long time because that when that menu came up but it was fixed in like 10 seconds it just showed me the black screen for about 10 seconds then it came back in the lock screen then i unlocked the device and used it and it worked fine otherwise in terms of benchmarks as you are noticing the benchmark scores are really really amazing and in terms of daily driving performance you should not be having any issues so far over here only the stock camera is not that great in my personal opinion so let me know in the comments guys what do you guys think about this nusantara os on the redmi k20 pro give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know about this custom rom on the redmi k20 pro this is tito from kdntx signing off for today and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet thank you so much for watching this video guys again and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now